Hi, today I'm upgrading my MacBook with eight terabyte of storage using these two new SSDs from Acer, which cost just slightly over 200 euro each. Let's compare that to Apple's pricing. Wow, they don't even offer more than two terabytes. And that already costs about the same as my eight terabyte upgrade. So the question is, how am I going to fit regular SSDs inside a MacBook? Well, if you've watched my previous videos, you might have seen a dock I use. Now there's an updated version of the dock, which can hold two SSDs. In addition, it provides a port for a monitor, USB, and another Thunderbolt port. The Thunderbolt 4 cable is included, and you can see I have two extra Acer Predator SSDs with 4.1 terabyte each. The P3 is the single SSD dock, so let's test the old dock first. You can see I'm getting speeds between 2200 and 2500 megabytes per second. Now let's move to the new SSD dock. You'll notice it shows lower speeds because the bandwidth is shared between the two disks. But that's not an issue, as I'll be combining both disks into a single RAID drive. To do this, I'll open Disk Utility and use the RAID Assistant. It suggests using RAID 0 if speed is the priority, so I'll select both SSDs and join them into a RAID 0 array. And here it is, my new 8.2 terabyte RAID drive. Boom, I'm even getting slightly higher speeds compared to the single slot SSD dock. However, the speeds are still not as high as advertised. That's because to achieve maximum speed, I'd need a PCIe 4.0 connection. Since I'm using Thunderbolt 4, it doesn't matter because all video and photo editing apps load files instantly. There's no lag, everything just flies. This dock is amazing as it is. And yeah, this is how you can easily and affordably add a lot of fast storage to your MacBook. The dock comes with a fan button, but it has only one speed, and the noise is pretty annoying, especially when using it with a completely silent MacBook. Here's what I did with my previous single slot dock. I replaced the tiny internal fan with an external one. It's a simple process. Lift the cover, undo four screws, and unplug the small internal fan. Connect an 80 millimeter 12 volt slim fan to the five volts connection. This allows it to run at idle, making it completely inaudible. Now, I've even stacked both docks together and they're perfectly cooled with a single external fan. Both docks are powered by a single power plug, which is so convenient. As you can see, all three SSDs stay super cool, even during disk tests. By combining both docks, I now have three monitor ports, three USB ports, one Thunderbolt port. The whole setup is powered by a single cable. When I unplug it, my MacBook goes to sleep. When I plug it back in, I just click my mouse or keyboard and my MacBook wakes up. No need to even open the lid anymore. This setup is far better than the fancy Ivanki dock station I got recently. That dock couldn't wake up my MacBook like this. Plus it's much bulkier and comes with a larger power brick. These Acasis docks are tiny, cute, and portable. Definitely my favorite. I'll include all the links in the video description.